Ken, I want to let you know about another innovation happening here in uh, Metro Atlanta, and that is robots helping to lighten the load for Atlanta's restaurant workers. Our Chris Rosenthal is uh, out looking at these robots in service. Uh, Chris, where are you at? And tell me a little bit about what you're learning today. Yeah, hey, Ariel. I am at uh, El Portone uh, Mexican Restaurant uh, here in Roswell. They have a few restaurants in Metro Atlanta. And, uh, they're one of uh, quite a few restaurants here that are starting to use um, robots, actually, to uh, uh, seat people and to uh, also uh, help serve people. Here's one of the robots uh, right now. It's, it's you know, a little bit of a quiet time now before the dinner rush. So, uh, but this is uh, one of the robots that they use. They simply just punch in a table number and uh, it will take the uh, customers right to their uh, right to their table. They also have some other robots uh, back in the kitchen. Um, I shot some video of these uh, robots a little bit earlier, um, and uh, they will, uh, uh, you know, when when they're done cooking the food, they put the food on the uh, robot uh, on little trays, and they. Uh, Walk the food right out to the uh, to the customers. So um, it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool thing. Um, this comes from a uh, a local company called To Do Robotics. Um, it's run by a woman named uh, uh, Marianella and, uh, Naninga, and she uh, she started this company a few years ago. Saw a need for this, and um, I spoke with her, and um, also spoke with the manager of the restaurant here to see how they're using this. So let's, let's listen in. In 2015, I had the opportunity to be in, um, for business in Seoul, South Korea, and I was in the restaurant, actually, met my translator brought me, and they had an, a small robot. It was very small, it had only one tray, and actually was bringing the food to our table. This is BellaBot, and BellaBot Pro, the new model, and the new uh, sister of BellaBot. Both of them had the same functionalities, bring the food from the kitchen or the, from the bar, to each one of the tables. We can program them to have the base in the kitchen or bar, and then program to have each one of the uh, tables in its, uh, uh, in its memory. So the server and the runner in the kitchen could actually put all the, uh, the food in the different trays. It had four different trays, and actually to be delivered directly to the tables. Well, we use them to, uh, there are three. The first one, the little one, calling the uh, lady bot. That's what the people that take the people to the tables, like a host thing. And the other two is running the food. You just put the food in the uh, place in the little compartments, and you program it to send it to the table, and they go right by your table. It's a lot of fun. Does it, it make things more efficient for your business? More efficiently, and more easy, and convenience, and fun. What's the more important thing? You know, I think one of the obvious things people think when they see something like this, and, and maybe your employees may have thought this, is, is this going to take jobs away? That's right. That's what the first impression for them. Mm -hmm. When I talk to them now, this is going to be more easy for everybody. They're starting to like it and approve it. It was a lot of fun. It is customers. a lot of fun. Just bring customers in too? A lot of customers bring it in, and uh, there are some customers, the only reason to come to this restaurant is the little things, the robots, especially the kids. So, so yeah, they say the customers and the uh, and the employees here really uh, really embrace it. I had a I had a lunch here, and I had a, so I'll say the first time I've ever had a robot serve me a meal. Um, there's also other uses for these robots uh, to do robotics. Is also using these robots um, with uh, you know with hotels and and uh, the cleaning industry. They can do um, you know they can do vacuuming while uh, while while the uh, housekeepers are cleaning your, your hotel room, for example, and and uh, even looking at uh, rolling this out in healthcare, maybe it can take your vital signs while uh, uh, waiting for the doctor to come see you at the uh, doctor's office. That's a little bit down the road, but that's that's yeah. another potential uh, future. Uh, application for this. Chris, uh, the opportunities really are limitless and I do find it fascinating and I'm glad you asked him about his employees perceptions because that's one of my first thoughts. Hey, is this going to take my job away as a server? Um, but as he said, it, it seems like for his business, people have gotten on board because they realized it's actually made their jobs easier. Maybe they can focus on some other things. Um, so definitely interesting to see where this takes us. Chris Rosenthal, it does look like we uh, are wrapping up here for our news at four. So thank you so much for showing us a live look there. 
there at these robots. It is very interesting to see. I'm Ariel Onstad, guys. It has been 